Hello friends, this is exercise time. In the previous section, you learnt how to create model for diabetes prediction. This time I want you to create a model for stroke prediction using the same logic that we learnt in our last section. I just selected a random good article on stroke prediction. It is one of the latest article. As you can see, it is published in 2022 only. It is comparative analysis of machine learning classifiers for stroke prediction. If you go through this article, you might feel that this article is little bit tough because it uses programming to create the models and also it talks about the deployment of the model. The deployment of the model requires quite an expertise in the machine learning. Since we are a beginner, right now we will focus on creating the model only. So now I want you to create a model for stroke prediction and we will use the same data set that this particular article used. So we go into materials and method. In the section 3.1, it mentions that this particular article used the data set that is publicly available on Kaggle. I will open the link in a new tab. So here is the stroke prediction data set. To download the data set from the Kaggle, you need to have an account on the Kaggle website. It is free. But if you feel any difficulty, I will attach the data set with this video. For demonstration, I am simply showing you how does this data set looks like. I will open this data set in the Excel. As you can see, it shows you ID, gender, age, if the patient has hypertension or not, if the patient has heart disease or not. If the patient was ever married, work type, residence, average glucose level, BMI, smoking history and lastly if the patient had a stroke or not. So now I want you to create the similar kind of models that we created in our last section. If you go through this article, you will realize that some of the models that this article created, I have already shown you how to create those models. For example, using SVM, Random Forest, KNN, Neobias. So it is time for you to create a new model and compare your result with the already published article. Don't hesitate to ask if you face any difficulty. I will create a solution for this exercise and put it in the separate section of this course. That's all for now. Happy machine learning.